Today we're going to learn about an online kids coding program called CodeMonkey that teaches kids to code using real coding languages. This is a computer coding program that can be used for kids from pre-K through 8th grade, and there's a lot to it. I'm really excited to show it to you, so let's go. If your kids are interested in learning about coding, CodeMonkey is a great program for them to try out. They offer a variety of different coding courses, from block-based coding for pre-K and kindergarten to text-based coding, game creation, and more. This program offers a seven-day free trial, and after that, it's only $6 a month for one student, billed yearly as one payment of $72, or $9 a month if you choose quarterly billing, billed every three months as one payment of $27. They also offer a family plan for up to three children and a homeschool plan for up to two teachers and five students. Whichever plan you choose, you can save 25% off by using the code that I've shared with you in the video description. But before you worry about that, keep watching to see if this is a program that you want to try with your kids or not. The CodeMonkey program is designed to be used on a desktop or laptop computer, although some of the courses can be done on a tablet. You don't need to download anything to use it. Everything is done online on the CodeMonkey website. Once you sign up, you will have access to all of the courses that CodeMonkey offers. I'm going to give you a demo and walkthrough of the site in a minute, but first, let's talk about the different courses. The first is CodeMonkey Junior. This is a blocks-based coding program for kids in pre-K and kindergarten. This course helps students learn the foundations of coding without having to worry about writing code just yet. They'll learn the most basic coding concepts to help prepare them for the next level of coding. Next is Beaver Achiever. This is another block-based coding course, but it's designed for kids that are a little bit older and have developed some early reading skills. This course is perfect to teach beginning coding skills to first and second graders. If you want your child to get some math practice in while they're also learning about coding, there's a course for that called Dodo Does Math designed for kids in grades two to four. Kids will practice math concepts like addition, subtraction, and multiplication, while also learning to code using CoffeeScript, a real-world coding language. For kids in third through fifth grade, there's a course called Coding Adventure. This is the course I had my nine-year-old try out, and it was really fun to watch how quickly she picked it up. It's a game-based coding course that introduces kids to text-based coding by having them write code to help the monkey catch bananas. For kids that are a little bit older, there's a game builder course where kids in sixth to eighth grade will learn the fundamentals of game design and creation. There's also Banana Tales, a coding game that uses a different coding language called Python. In this course, kids will learn computer coding concepts such as sequencing, functions, variables, and more. For kids ages 13 and older, there's the Coding Chatbots course. Here, kids will play a fun game and learn to code using Python, building their own chatbot. This course introduces kids to coding with Python while also developing problem solving and critical thinking skills. Finally, for kids in third through fifth grade, they offer two digital literacy courses designed to teach kids about hardware, software, word processing, privacy, digital wellness, and more. So now that we've covered all the different courses you get with a subscription, let's take a look at some of them in more detail. CodeMonkey has a parent and student dashboard, and I'll show you them both, but let's start with the student dashboard. Whenever your child logs on to CodeMonkey, this is what they'll see. Up top, they can just continue where they left off in a course, or they can pick something different down below. The courses are organized into four categories, novice, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. They can try any course they like, except for the few courses that are locked. Those courses will become available once the first part of the course is finished. Now let me show you a bit of what some of the courses are like. We'll start with one for the younger kids, CodeMonkey Junior. So you just click on a course to start coding. In this game, the object is to use the arrows to help the monkey get to the chest. It's very simple for a young child to follow, but it's also really fun to try and figure out. As you move along through the course, it gets a little more challenging. If you get it wrong, you can just try again until you get it right. If you want to go back to a previous lesson, just click up here. There's also a video lesson up here that helps to explain the course that your child may want to watch before they begin. 
Now let's take a look at the next level of block coding, the Beaver Achiever level. Just click up here and click on Home to go back to the main screen. The object of this game is to help the beaver build a dam. This one is a little more challenging because you have to move the little blocks of code into the correct spot. Your child will also need some basic reading skills to be able to figure out what to do. We'll take a look at the Dodo math course in a minute, but I just want to show you the rest of the coding courses first. Next is the coding adventure, which will use text coding instead of the more basic block coding. This is the one my daughter's been trying out, and I've got to say, she's been having a lot of fun with it. I don't want to mess up her progress, so I'll just go back to one of the earlier challenges. You can do that here. The goal of this game is to help the monkey get to the bananas. There is a video tutorial for this course as well that you can watch if you want to, or you can just get right to coding. As with the other courses, it's going to get more challenging as you go through the course. They keep adding new pieces of code so you can build on the skills you've already learned. They have some additional courses for this level, but now let's look at a game builder course. Let's try the platformer course. These are side-scrolling games like the old Super Mario games. Instead of a video tutorial, this course has reference cards here if you need some extra help. The instructions are over here on the left. The goal is still to get the monkey to the banana, but now we're learning how to code it for others to play, like a real video game. They'll show you how to set certain keys on the keyboard to make the monkey move and jump. Just like with the other courses, it's going to get more and more challenging as you complete each stage. That was really fun to try out. Now let's check out the Coding Chatbots course. In this course, your child will learn the coding language Python by creating their own chatbot. The instructions are over here on the left. What this course is all about is creating a chatbot just like we all have probably experienced chatting with on various websites on the internet. So your child will be learning how to code one of these chatbots. I found this very interesting. In making this video for you guys, I've learned something too. I really had a lot of fun with it. Now that we've seen the main courses, there are just a few more things that I want to show you. There are quite a few other courses here that we didn't go over, but hopefully you get the idea of what CodeMonkey has to offer for the different age groups. Now let's try the Dodo Does Math course. In this course, kids will need to use their math skills to solve the coding challenges. In the first course, they'll be using a ruler to measure the distance the Dodo bird needs to travel to get to the egg. They'll still be doing coding, just with some extra math added in. So it's a nice way to get kids to have some fun while practicing math. There are also two courses here that teach digital literacy. If we open up the first one, you can see all the topics here that will be taught in the course. So this is a nice little extra that you can have your kids do to learn more about computers and the internet. Before we look at the parent dashboard, let me just show you two more things over on the left here. If you click on My Creations, you'll have the option to create a new game or challenge. Click Create New here, and you can choose between text and block-based coding. Choose a game format to start creating. I'd love to show you more, but I think I definitely need to have completed one of the courses first to fully understand it. But it's nice that there's more to do once your child has gained a good understanding of the coding. Kids can also create their own challenges for other students here. Last on the student dashboard is this Discover section. Kids can view games and challenges created by other students. This is also where they'll be able to share the games and challenges they create. If you don't want this feature, I'll show you how to shut it off in the parent section. Now let me show you the parent dashboard. Don't worry, it's very simple and easy to understand. When you log in as the parent, this is what you'll see. So you can get a nice little snapshot of the progress your child has made so far on CodeMonkey. You can click here on Course Progress to see which courses they have made progress in. You can also click on Creations to see any games or challenges they have created. If you click on Parent Resources, you can view solutions to all the challenges, explore the coding concepts, view their video library, and access these additional features. You can also view the creations of other students here. Finally, if you want to access your account information, you can do that here. You can cancel your subscription here if you need to. And under Settings, this is where you can hide the Discover section if you'd prefer not to allow your child to access it. You can also turn off the super hints in Coding Adventure here. 
So that's everything I wanted to show you today about the Code Monkey Kids coding program. I had a lot of fun checking it out, and I'm going to have to keep my subscription because my daughter has been asking to play it every day since we first signed up. As a homeschool mom, I try to allow her to follow her interests as much as I can, and coding is something she really wanted to learn about. So I'm glad that we found this program. We have tried a few others, and this is definitely the one that we've liked best so far. Click the video on your screen now to learn about another great educational resource for kids. And if you have any questions about CodeMonkey, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.